This video is part of a series of videos presenting solutions of problems related to the machine dynamics topic. This video is related to the topic of kinematics of mechanisms. In this problem, we are going to find the position of an inverted slider crank mechanism. The question here asks to write the position equations of the inverted slider crank mechanism shown here. In this mechanism link 2, the bar AB, is the input. It is asked to start from the, the loop closure equation AB plus BC is equal to AD plus DC. Or R2 plus R3 is equal to R1 plus R0. It is also asked to find the angle theta 3 and, the modulus R3, if R0 is equal to 10 cm. R2 is equal to 15 cm, R1 is equal to 25 cm, and theta 2, the input is equal to 60 degrees. This mechanism is an inverted slider crank. It is built of three bars, the bar AB, link 2, the bar BE, link 3, and the bar AC, link 1 which is here the ground. The fourth link here is the slider, which rotates about C. The bar B, is here translating relatively to the slider C. The mobility of the mechanism is 1. Thus, one input is required. Here, link 2 is considered as the input. The angle theta 2 is considered given. It is, asked to, it is asked to start from the equation AB plus BC is equal to AD plus DC. The vector AB, is the vector position of the bar AB. The modulus of the vector AB is equal to R2 the length of the bar AB. The angle of the vector AB is the theta 2, the input. The vector AB is the vector R2 the vector position of link 2. The vector BC, has a variable modulus and a variable angle. The modulus of the vector BC, changes with the translation of the link 3, relatively to the slider. The modulus of the vector BC, measures how far the bar BE has moved relatively to C. The angle of the vector BC measures the rotation angle of link 3. As the bar BE is translating along the slider, both, link 3 and the slider have the same angle here. The vector BC is a good vector to represent the vector position of the link 3, the bar BE. Thus the vector BC is set to be equal to R3. The angle theta 3 which gives the direction of the vector BC is defined considering the x-axis as a reference. The vector AD connects two static points. Its direction and modulus are both constants and depend on the mechanism's geometry. The vector AD is denoted as the vector R1 to refer to the ground. The vector AD has a constant modulus, the distance AD, or R1. It has also a constant angle. Theta 1 here is equal to 0 degrees. The vector DC connects also two static points. Its direction and modulus are both constants and depend on the mechanism's geometry. The vector DC refers to the ground, it is here denoted as the vector R0. The vector DC has a constant modulus, the distance DC, or R0. It has also a constant angle. Theta 0 here is equal to 90 degrees. 
The loop closure equation writes AB plus BC is equal to AD plus DC. Or R2 plus R3 is equal to R1 plus R0. Only the vector R3 is unknown. R2 is the input. R0 and R1 are static vectors. This equation can easily be solved by moving the vector R2 to right part. In order to solve for R3 and θ3, we bring to scalar algebraic equations, by considering the horizontal and vertical coordinates of each vector. Namely, the projection of the vector equation on the horizontal axis gives R3 cosine theta 3 is equal to R1 cosine theta 1 plus R0 cosine theta 0 minus R2 cosine theta 2. Similarly, the projection of the vector equation on the vertical axis yields R3 sine theta 3 is equal to R1 sine theta 1 plus R0 sine theta 0 minus R2 sine theta 2. Considering that theta 1 is equal to 0 degrees and that theta 0 is equal to 90 degrees, cosine theta 1 is equal to 1, cosine theta 0 is equal to 0, sine theta 1 is equal to 0 and sine theta 0 is equal to 1. The two scalar equations simplify to R3 cosine theta 3 is equal to R1 minus R2 cosine theta 2 and r3 sine theta 3 is equal to r0 minus r2 sine theta 2. To get the modulus r3, we square the two equations, then we add them, then we take the square root. r3 is then equal to the square root of the sum of the square of r1 minus r2 cosine theta 2 and the square of r0 minus r2 sine theta 2. It is also possible to get tangent of theta 3 by dividing the second equation by the first equation. Thus, tangent of theta 3 is equal to r0 minus sine theta 2, divided by r1 minus r2 cosine theta 2. To use arc tangent, we need to know if cosine theta 3 is positive or negative. Cosine theta 3 can be calculated from the first equation. Cosine theta 3 is equal to R1 minus R2 cosine theta 2 divided by R3. The solution for the angle theta 3 depends on the sine of cosine theta 3. If cosine theta 3 is positive then theta 3 is simply the arcade tangent of the ratio of R0 minus R2 sine theta 2 by R1 minus R2 cosine theta 2. If cosine theta 3 is negative we need to add 180 degrees and then, theta 3 is equal to 180 degrees plus arcade tangent of the ratio of R0 minus R2 sine theta 2 by R1 minus R2 cosine theta 2. To get R3, we substitute R1 by 25, R0 by 10, R2 by 15, and theta 2 by 60 degrees. Using calculator gives R3 is equal to around 17.75 cm. Substituting R1, R2, and θ2 by their numerical value and using a calculator we obtain that cosine θ is approximately equal to 0.9857, which is a positive value. As the cosine is positive, we don't need to add 180 degrees to the arcade tangent of the ratio. Substituting R0, R1, R2, and θ2 in the expression of θ3, and using a calculator θ3 is approximately equal to minus 9.7 degrees or also 350.3 degrees.